hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is split strings by separator so in this question we are given an array of string the array is called words and we are also given a character called separator and we need to split each string inside the words array wherever the separator occurs and finally our task is to return an array of strings containing the new strings after the splits and the array should not contain any empty strings so this is the input array words given to us and this is the separator given to us and finally this is our output now let's take a look at this example and see how this output is forming so i've taken the same example given to us this is the input words given to us so this is a list so i'm going to access each element inside this word and split it wherever there is this separator so we're going to start our iterations from left to right and access each string at a time so we are going to start with i is equal to 0. So let's take this string. Using the get method, I'm going to take that word. So now I have this word. I'm going to use the split method on this word and place this separator, which is a character, and convert it into a regular expression. This will be our split. I'll show you during code how to convert that into regular expression. So after splitting, I'm going to form the words array, which will contain three separate strings for this word. And now I'm going to iterate through this words array. And I'm going to check if that string is not an empty string because the output should not contain any empty strings. If it is not an empty string, I'm going to add it into the result list. So let's add those three into the result list. And now let's move on to the next iteration. So the next iteration, i is equal to 1. So we access this string. And now using the split method on this string, we get two words and those will be added into the words array. Now we are going to iterate through this words array and check if it is not an empty string and if it is not an empty string we add it into the result now we go to the next iteration the next iteration i is equal to 2 so we take this string we apply the split method on this string there is no separator inside that so we add that word as it is into the words array now we iterate through this words array and add it into the result list because it is not an empty string and finally we reach the end of the words list whatever is present inside this result will be returned as the output now let's take a look how we can implement these steps in a java program coming to the function given to us this is the function name and this is the return type a list of strings and the parameters are the input array words and a character separator now let's start off by declaring our result so this will be our result so we are returning the result now we have to add the individual words after splits into this list result for that i'm going to iterate through the input list words from the starting index till the end of the list now i is equal to zero let's start off by accessing the string at the zeroth element and then i'm going to use the split method which will take a regex expression as its parameter note that this is a character data type so this is how we are going to convert a character into a regex so regex is regular expression so for the compiler to notice in java we have to make the regular expression like this and now we have splitted the zeroth index element inside the words array and stored it inside the words array so from the words list we are going to store it inside a words array and now i'm going to iterate through the words array one by one and checking if it is not an empty string if it is not an empty string then i'm going to add it into the result list and in the next iteration i will be one and so on until we reach the end of the words list and finally outside the for loop i'm going to return the result now let's try to run the code our test cases are successfully passed let's submit the code and our solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is of n square where n is length of the words list and the space complexity is constant because we are not going to count the output list inside our space now let's try to debug this code inside IntelliJ IDE so that we know how the words array is being formed and finally how the list is being printed. So inside the main method I'm calling the split words array function which I've written here and I've taken the same input as the example one where this is the input string and this is the separator. Now let me place a breakpoint here and debug the code. So now we have a words array. The zeroth element is having this string. The first element is having this and the uh, second element is having this string now using a for loop we are accessing the zeroth element first because i is equal to zero now i is equal to zero right now here you can see we are accessing the zeroth element zeroth element is one two and three with periods in between and this is the separator so wherever there is a period 
the input string will be splitted and added into the words array. So the strings 1, 2 and 3 will be added as three, 3 substrate strings inside the words array. So here as you can see now the words array has 1, 2 and 3 as 3 separate strings and we are using the add all function to add all these 3 strings into the result list. So now as you can see the list size has been increased from 0 to 3. So the 3 strings inside the result array are 1, 2 and 3. Now in the next iteration i will be equal to 1 and the string will have the uh, string 4.5 so we have to split wherever there is a dot so 4 and 5 will be added as two separate strings and added into the words array. So here as you can see these are the two separate strings and we are adding these two separate strings into the result list. Now here as you can see size of the list is 3 but now it will be increased to 5 because two more strings are being added. So as you can see here size has been increased to 5 and 4 and 5 have been added as two separate strings. In the final iteration i is equal to 2, string is 6. There is no need to separate because there is no separator found inside this. So 6 will be added as it is. So finally we have our results and we are going to print it. and. As you can see this is our final output. So here you also have to place a check if you are not using the uh, add all function like here that if there is an empty string because if you can see in the second example there are two separators inside a string so it will separate this so it will add an empty string into the words array. So I am using the for each loop to access each word and checking if it is not an empty string. So here I'm not using the add all function just for debugging I've used the add all function because it works well with the first example. So just place this check and you should be good to go. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.